In this tutorial, I will introduce you to the key concepts in using layers and masks in Capture One Mobile. Masks can be drawn manually as well as via assisted masking, which can accurately mask the subject and background automatically. Other elements in an image can be selected with a simple tap. Simply put, using layers allows you to target specific areas of your images with their own adjustments. This image's editing is split into three different layers. Each layer is adjusting a specific area of the image. The first layer is a background mask with a color edit. The second layer is a subject mask with some contrast and exposure edits. And finally, the third layer with a specific edit for the logo. You'll see as I select the layers, the red area indicates where the specific adjustments are being applied to. This is known as the mask. Creating a mask and managing your layers takes place here. New layers can be created by tapping the plus icon, opening a menu of different options for mask creation. Let's first look at subject and background masking. Capture One will quickly mask the detected subject. Let's do the same with the background. We now have two high quality masks for subject and background. To select specific areas of an image, use the tap or draw to select options. The interface will change to edit mode with the circular select icon. Drag to select any element in the image. The mask will indicate what has been detected. Tap once more to mask the area. To mask further elements in the same layer, drag the selection icon once more and tap again. To remove any masked area, tap on the minus icon and repeat the above steps. When you are happy with your masking, tap Done. Draw to Select works in a similar way, but more suited to selecting multiple elements at once. Simply draw a box over the elements you wish to mask. Please note that any masking method can be combined in the edit view by selecting the other mask drawing methods here. Additionally, to aid masking, you may wish to zoom in and out of the image with a two finger gesture. Masks can also be drawn manually. Tap the plus icon and choose brush. The interface will change to edit mode, displaying brush settings on the left hand side. In this example, I want to add some more contrast and clarity to the walkway, so I will make my brush a bit larger and brush on the center of the image. You might find it easier using an Apple Pencil. To remove part of the mask you have drawn, tap on the minus icon and brush once more. When you are happy with your mask, tap Done. The Layers and Mask tool will now show you the created layer named as Brush Mask. If your mask is visible, as indicated in red, when adjusting any setting, the mask will temporarily hide. To fully hide the mask, tap here. Linear and radial gradients can be drawn from these options. Adjust the fall off by dragging the dotted line. Rotate the gradient by dragging the center line. Tap Done when you're happy with the mask. As before, any adjustment will only affect the masked area. Radial gradients work in a similar way. Drag the dotted line to control the fall off. Drag any of the handles on the center line to change the shape of the mask. And the center line itself to rotate it. Reposition the mask by dragging anywhere else within it. As before, click done when you are satisfied.
The opacity of any mask can be adjusted by tapping here and adjusting the slider. This is useful if you wish to lessen the impact of an adjustment or group of adjustments on any given layer. Finally, explore the additional layer options in the submenu here.